So Tommy Tuberville takes over as head coach at Auburn, and before the season, he tells us that big SEC games are going to be labeled cigar games. And Joe Panunzio, who was on the Alabama staff for a while after he was the special teams coach for Tubbs at Auburn, was going to be the guy that brought the cigars, and he was going to have them for us in the locker room after big wins. So it was a little extra motivation, kind of a tactic uh, to get us more excited about games. But... It ended up being kind of a cool deal because it was over after it started because basically the conference came down and said, can't do it. We don't want you doing it. Uh, I don't know if that was extra benefits actually giving us the cigars or whatever it was, but it was a little odd that this was something we were going to do the entire season, and it was a big goal for us to go out and win these cigar games, and LSU was the first one. Uh, we struggled against Appalachian State. Week one, Ben Leard had to come in off the bench, kind of play Mariano Rivera for us, saved us in that game. Then we beat Idaho, and we're rolling into LSU. Picked to finish dead last in the SEC West. And what do you know, first cigar game, we thump LSU on, at their place. Uh, the first thing I'll tell you about how it felt after that game was pure relief. Because for some reason ESPN got this brilliant idea to have like a 345 kickoff. People don't talk about this much, but the cigar game is memorable as it was for so many people. Was not even close, hands down the hottest football game I've ever been a part of in my life. So the fact that the sun was down and you were done playing, uh, it was relief. But just, just pride and, and a lot of sense of unity and teammates coming together and thinking about the fact we didn't have a lot of superstars on that team. We were able to go to Baton Rouge and get a win in that game. Boy, it felt good. It, it, it was it was maybe the second best feeling that year uh, with probably the first being able to go to Georgia. Uh, but with me being best friends with Ben Leard, I was in his wedding, he was in my wedding, and for him to not start the season opener, have to come in against Appalachian State and get us the win after starting the previous year, and then be able to go to Baton Rouge and get that game, and then see him set the all-time school passing record against Georgia and Athens, probably be number two on that list, but uh, top five most memorable moment for me, the cigar game in Baton Rouge, no doubt about it.